All right, uh, my name is Reverend David Charles Dickinson. Um, I am 61 years old, former rugby player, former cricket player, Charlie boy, um, Lancashire lad through and through. It is 20 years ago this July, Peter Tide, 1999, I was made a deacon by Bishop Alan Chesters, the then Bishop of Blackburn. Um, and in the year 2000, I was made deacon by uh, the then Bishop of Burnley, Martin Jarrett. Just two years um, is when we set up the chaplaincy system, and I was one of the uh, ministers that Bishop Philip approached to uh, come into the system. Uh, at Hutton, I'll come in and do assemblies, um, Holy Communions on high days and holy days, Christmas and Easter usually. Um, I used to be an RE teacher for 31 years um, and therefore I'm comfortable in the classroom so I'll come in and do revision classes um, or I'll lead lessons for particular topics and I'm also a trained counsellor in secular counselling as well as all of the uh, Christian things so I'm available for pastoral support should the school need it. Being part of a community, uh, the security of it, belonging to Christ Jesus, belonging to God, knowing that my past is forgiven and my future is guaranteed, so all I have to do is sort out today. Oh gosh, the worst thing, yes, I knew we were going to ask this question. I think it's possibly workload. Um, I'm supposed to be semi-retired because of health issues. I'm supposed to do 18 hours a week and that's all gone by about Tuesday. Um, I'm supposed to have two days off a week for the good of my health. The Archdeacon keeps telling me he's very careful for me. Um, and that hardly ever happens. Don't let him see this. And um, also I'm supposed to take six weeks off a year and I've never ever done that. So uh, it, it is a workload. It's, it's a joy to be able to help people. But there is so much need in society today that uh, it's morning, noon and night sometimes. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I did when I was 26. I had the opportunity when I was 13, when I was confirmed at St. George's Chorley. Um, I didn't. I made a commitment, but it was in the wrong direction. Um, on the night I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, fear was taken out of me. I've not felt afraid ever since. That doesn't mean I'm brave. Brave is when you're scared stiff and still carry on. I just don't have fear in my life anymore. And that's one of the most wonderful and beautiful and miraculous things imaginable.